So as Claudia mentioned, in 2020, earlier this year, we established a joint program and targeting excellence hub. Now, what is this hub? This hub is a way to operationalize what Claudia was talking about. What Claudia was talking about. Um, our, our collaboration on targeting to operationalize the, the principles and the joint guidance to support country offices in moving this forward and developing the necessary strategies and implementing them to ensure the um, targeting and prioritization of basic needs assistance for the population. Um, the Joint Hub team is a remote team working on a variety of technical areas. Um, the experts are all roving, so while working remotely, they are also available to support with missions um, at the country office level, depending on the needs and the requests. Um, the hub team works very closely with and in coordination with the technical experts at WFP um, headquarters in Rome, as well as headquarters, UNHR headquarters in Geneva, and the regional bureau technical colleagues in their subject matter. So this is very much an additional support to the technical areas in which the agencies are trying to increase our collaboration. Next slide, Amy. The technical expertise contained within the hub is multi-sectoral. So as, as Claudia mentioned, targeting is, is a process and we recognized as um, two agencies that we needed to build our capacity across a variety of technical areas in order to roll out and support country offices in the whole process. So we have experts in the hub that focus on assessment and monitoring and analysis. We have experts focusing on the targeting and the prioritization. Um, we also have expertise in data sharing and interoperability, recognizing the inherent link between data sharing and targeting, having the necessary data at the right time in order to identify beneficiaries and provide assistance um, efficiently. Um, recognizing the importance of protection throughout the process um, and the key protection principles included in our joint targeting principles. We have an accountability to affected populations expert as part of the, the joint hub team. And we also have expertise in joint programming, how we come together to put together strategies on joint programming between our agencies for, for refugees. And then in the wider context, looking at how we can support the medium to long-term efforts to build refugees' livelihoods and promote self-reliance. So this is the this is the range of um, expertise that we have on this remote hub team. Next slide, Mina. So as Claudia mentioned, the hub team has been put together to support country offices as well as regional and uh, global efforts in implementing joint work, implementation and design, um, as well as harmonizing or aligning work that is already in place within both agencies, but aligning it to uh, the global commitments and guidance. So when we say implementation or design of the joint work, um, we're particularly looking at joint assessments, which we've been doing quite a number of this year. We've got um, joint targeting strategies that have been requested by several countries that the hub is supporting. Um, and looking at the harmonization alignment, that's very much around some of the um, accountability to affected populi populations, work complaints and feedback mechanisms, how we, how we collaborate and align on these issues. Um, and I would say that a key element to all of the, the hub's work is, is learning and capacity building. Um, we have these global, this global guidance on targeting as well as the global guidance on, on data sharing, our data sharing addendum, our joint self-reliance strategy. And the hub is also using these, um, these documents and helping countries operationalize them, but building, building the learning on the documents and the commitments and building the learning on our experience in operationalizing them across the different contexts. 